All right, so interesting one here. Um, boy, this is a, what, this is not the application I would want to use this machine that this gentleman wants to use it in. So let me uh, get into this here and we'll see what you guys think. I've subscribed to your channel for a while, watched most of your videos. Unfortunately, the more I watch, the more indecisive I become. That's not good. I guess I need to do a better job there. My wife and I purchased 11 acres of farmland. I'm in the market to buy. I don't know if I should buy a tractor with a backhoe and a brush cutter or a skid steer or a Bobcat MT100, which I just recently discovered. An MT100 is like a mini skid steer. You like walk behind it or stand on it rather. And uh, it's got a loader on it. And we, sh we showed a Bombalite version of that a while back too. Toro, Dingo, a lot of them, a lot of companies make them. I have zero experience in farming. My background's in finance. It's a life's changing decision. I watch your videos and trust you and your suggestions if you can help me out. So anyways, uh, he's, oh boy. Well, so based on that information, I did not have enough to make a recommendation. So I asked him some more follow-up questions and he says, he's got a slope to his land, um, maybe about 20 feet or so, slight dip in the center, but a gentle slope. So nothing crazy there. Goals to set up a farm. So he needs an auger, a tiller, a bucket and a brush hog. Budget's wide open, doesn't really have anything limiting him at this point. He did like uh, the Kubota B2601, but he's strongly leaning to the Bobcat MT100. Wants to know if he can get tracks or wheels, if he can get um, wheels with tracks uh, to put over it. Four-wheel drive. If the hydraulics break, would he be able to fix it, or would he need to wait for the dealer to fix it? Anyway, so as far as the dealer, well, if something happens if the hydraulics break, that depends what it is. If a hose breaks, that's something you can fix yourself. Um, but well, also if you're buying a newer machine, most of those have warranties. So if it's something major, you're better off just taking it into the dealer and have them dealing with it. Like say it's a hydraulic pump or motor um, or the transaxle on your tractor. That'd, that'd be a huge one that you want to make sure the dealer corrects. So that depends what it is that breaks on there and the hydraulic components. But on the grand scheme of things, if you have a chunk of land, what, what did he say he had? 11 acres, 11 acres. Boy, I can't, I can't imagine those little mini skids, I think go, well, even a, even a big skid steer goes like seven or eight miles an hour. A mini, a mini skid is probably seven miles an hour or slower, more than likely than that. And driving that thing around 11 acres, I feel like would take an absolute eternity to do. The amount of time you would waste driving from point A to point B with that machine would, would drive me out of my mind, especially if you're trying to use that on a regular basis. Um, I can see, I, I think the application for those types of machines, the little mini skid steers are for like construction sites, you know, and, and maybe like around, uh, lake lots, you know, things like that, where you have pretty tight quarters, but you need a lot of capability. So those loaders can lift a lot of weight. If you have to carry a skid of roof shingles or uh, landscape blocks around in the backyard on a construction site, uh, for example, and you need the stability there, you're going to get a lot of that and a compact, tight, small little machine that you can't really get nearly as much of that with a tractor. Um, but personally, I don't think that they have any business being on, on a farm. And maybe you guys totally disagree. And, and that's kind of why I make these videos is because we all have different opinions and I don't know everything. I just know how things look through my lens and my experience, and that's what I can share. And so maybe you guys have other experiences that shed different light and that can give somebody, whether it's this gentleman or future or other folks watching in the future that need to make a similar decision and maybe want to, would like help ruling out a piece of equipment um, or being steered in a different direction. So for what he's looking to do, I think a skid steer would be, would be doable. There was nothing mentioned about having to be on a lawn. Um, it'd be a very stable machine, a very capable machine, but you know, you're generally paying quite a bit more for a skid steer and the skid steer attachments than you are for a small compact tractor, which is all he needs like I loved his suggestion of the B2601. I think that's right in the wheelhouse of the size of the machine that he needs, and he can do everything he needs to with that. So personally, the cost of the mini skid, those are, those are pricey buggers, and then the attachments to go along with it are also pricey buggers. And I don't think that um, the convenience or the capability that you would get out of that machine is enough to offset the major limitation to me, which is speed, uh, using it, going from point A to point B or brush hogging your field, for example, you're standing up on it or walking behind versus sitting down on your tractor, which 
it's great to maybe get some better exercise, but um, if you're going to be on it for a long period of time or in different conditions, it's much nicer to be up higher and sitting down, getting your work done that way too. There's a trade-off of having the attachment in front of you. Super nice to have that with the mini skid versus, you know, a brush auger going to be on the backside of you for sure. And, and um, the, the auger, they do make some loader mounted postal diggers, but the the flow rates on tractors and compact tractors are, are pretty small. And so unless you have a bigger tractor with a lot of hydraulic flow, those augers are going to move really slow and not be the most ideal thing. You, you normally want a three point mount that's going to be PTO driven to operate that most effectively. So my suggestion was to go with a compact tractor and to completely rule out the mini skid, not because I think the mini skid is a standalone machine is a bad unit. I just don't think for his application, that is what I would do. I honestly think the amount of time wasted, just that segment alone, without even taking into account anything else, just the travel time from point A to point B on a regular basis or travel time to complete a job like brush hogging a field, I would rule it out based on that alone. So anyway, would love to hear you guys' thoughts on that. If you, if maybe I'm off the mark, maybe you guys are, you've got something else bouncing around up there that's a major advantage to having that uh, mini skid that would make it worthwhile over a tractor. I just can't think of it. Folks, we are proud to be sponsored by RimGuard Solutions, a liquid ballast weight. It goes right inside your tires, completely hidden. We're big on safety on this channel. These tractors are just too light and tippy right out of the factory. Not only is it gonna help with safety, keeping those rear tires planted on the ground, it helps with loader efficiency and traction too. The benefits of RimGuard include being the heaviest all natural liquid ballast weight on the market. It's not gonna corrode your rims like the old calcium chloride. It's not gonna freeze. And it's available at over a thousand dealers nationwide. Find the dealer near you at RimGuardSolutions.com. So just one of the other emails that I get asking for help for customers and hopefully it helps out other folks that are trying to make that same kind of a decision too. But if you have a question, feel free, send us an email. Maybe we'll put it in a video like this one too. And if you're in the market for a tractor or a tractor attachment, well, we'd love to help you out. We sell that kind of stuff and ship it all over the country every day of the week. I wanna thank you for taking time out of your day to stop by. And until next time, stay safe. We'll see you soon.